Hello friends, I am sharing with you a piece I titled God is more than enough. There is a scripture that has helped me to put many things in perspective within the context of the will of God. It is Revelation chapter 4 verse 11. It says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Since I was created to give God pleasure, I shall seek his will always. Jesus Christ knew why he was sent to the earth and did not deviate from the path charted for him by the Father. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 5 to 7 states, Sacrifices and offerings you did not desire, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin you have had no pleasure. Then I said, See, I have come to do your will, O God, as it is written of me in the volume of the book. Child of God, if you believe that you were created for his pleasure, why are you pushing your own agenda in many areas of your life? You allow many things to become idols in your heart. Marriage, career, children, properties, societal acceptance, etc. A Christian woman without a child hands up in the dirty shrine of a traditional religion worshiper or a fake prophet. Ditto the spinster looking for a husband or the jobless graduate. Whose glory are you seeking in the abode of Satan? Is your patronage of the kingdom of darkness giving God pleasure? I believe that the best thing to do under such circumstances is to lift up a prayer to God. Tell him that you know that you are on this earth to give him pleasure. Ask him to bless you with a child, husband, wife, a job, a house, a car, etc., if this would give him pleasure. Tell him that you love and cherish him, even if he chooses to withhold these things from you. Don't forget that he has already given you the greatest gift of all, his son Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 8 verse 32 puts it better. It says, He who did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? Chew on these words, and may the Lord grant you the grace to put your trust in his goodness. Shalom.